the new name for where is Chibo Anu Ozo. Chibo Anu Ozo. Ah, ah. This is also a very important call. If you have any unused visa that you're, you're not using, anyone that you've not used, help a sister. Let us know if we can leave this country. <laughs> Let us know if we can leave this country because I do not understand what's going on. I need to, if, if you don't have a plan B in this country, as a young girl, as a young guy, as even an old woman, even my grandmother is here, everybody needs to have a plan B at this point because things are getting out of hand. Having a plan B is, even if it's Kotonu, or Togo, or even Cameroon, Kabakwa, have a plan B. Otherwise, Niaga. <laughs> Every morning, you wake up to another new scenario, another new um, topic, all on the same thing, right? So today being the 25th of, 25th or 26th, I can't even remember, but today is Tuesday. Um... So this afternoon, we were all just um, going about our normal daily lives, going about our normal activities, and then people start sending WhatsApp messages. Hey, be careful. Don't go towards OG. Don't go towards this. What's happening? Unknown gunmen. Unknown gunmen has become a tag right now. Look, I, I, don't, I, I don't even understand what's happening anymore because, truth be told, this thing started as a joke it all started as a joke at some point everybody on non government on non government but for weeks this is like the fourth to the fifth week now that this whole scenario of unknown gunmen has been going on and if my memory serves me correctly this was the same scenario that played out with the boko haram guys or the boko haram said that we all know now that has come to stay right you know boko haram at the point started with the normal joke everybody boko 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 haram ha boko haragi boko haram we all took it as a joke now it's more like now it's more like the government or the people have normalized the act of violence right they've now normalized the act of this whole thing right because there you hear that this happened here this happened in the north this happened in the in the northern part of nigeria this happened here this happened here and you're it's more like a normal thing people say Eburu ozu onyozo odika onpa nkoko kahabu. Like when someone, um, when the corpse of someone else is being carried, that's not related to you. It feels as we, as if it's a log of wood that's being carried. So that's a scenario that's actually playing out now in Nigeria, and it's actually funny because I feel like when things are not tackled at the beginning, they spring up and then they keep growing from there on. Do you understand? Now we're having this unknown gunman again. Act um by these people now in the eastern part of nigeria is something that i hope doesn't come to stay because at the end of the day it's still we the masses that are going to be the worst hit for it i mean these politicians this house of rep members these senators these governors all have their plan b in place if anything should happen now if anything should happen tomorrow they have either a visa to america they have either a visa to uk they have even their families their children all their schooling and in good hands while well, we are all here being the good nigerians that we are trying to keep the hope alive to be truth be told i'm getting sick and tired of this whole thing before people leave or go out of their houses they keep asking questions is this place okay is this place fine like this these things ah oh, jesus over is not economically stable to be going through what it's going through now a lot of things are going to happen that are going to adversely affect us when you have the little investors that you have here now um being scared away and then they leave what else is left of this place because should be told over it has little or nothing to rely back on so then again we want our brothers to be able to come back to nigeria to do this to do that without security insecurity is the very first spot of call for anyone who is living wherever he or she is living and wants to come down here to nigeria to do whatsoever thing even if the person is thinking of visiting the very first thing the person is going to ask is where i'm leaving to come to is it safe 
is it safe is my life going to be at risk i've had um, a lot of my clients reach out to me and the very first question they want to ask when they want to come back to nigeria because they know i keep saying come back invest here doing that the very first question they ask me a lot of them is how safe is nigeria how safe is the place and i'm not gonna lie because at the end of the day it's all in the news no matter how i sugarcoat it no matter how i try to make it look as if everything is calm it's still what it is right and the news is not even going to be so merciful on us so like i said this i just don't really know who is behind this i don't know those who are behind this whole thing but this is not what we need at this point in our lives because we can't start having another sect of unknown gunmen terrorizing people stopping people like this whole thing is getting out of hand and if we are not able to tackle it sooner than later it's going to blow in our faces um this is a call to everyone who's in a worry a call to everyone who's intending to come to worry or where it isn't the safest as it used to be at the same time things are calm but at the end of the day we have a few hitches here and there so just be safe be sure of where you're going to and just know that all the things that you think happen in the night most of them now happen during the day at the end of the day it's still just you your god and your 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 ability to think fast right so um, this whole thing started since and i feel at this point is now spreading to other eastern part of nigeria um like the other day i heard about enugu as well having an issue the other day having um a boy in state umar here as well as you can see is slowly gradually spreading into the eastern part of nigeria the, the the northern part of nigeria is already being terrorized by the sect that we already know of now we're having this for the eastern part of nigeria i'm not even going to talk about um, whether we have a president or not whether we have governors or not i'm just saying look out for yourself please always um be informed they said to be forewarned is to be forearmed so just be on the lookout be sure that wherever you're going to at at this point in time now wherever you're going to there's no necessity you have to check it you have to check it because i really do not understand what's going on anymore every morning you just wake up when you wake up the day hasn't even gone or you just hear that it's happening here it's happening here and i wait wherever and i wait ah for how long are we going to live in this this has been going on for a couple of weeks now but i just feel like this shouldn't be business as usual because at this rate i don't know what will be left of this place anymore and like if i was never sure of having a plan b at a time like this you should never doubt it have your visa ready ensure that your passport is is not expired i mean now you can't even apply for a new one so if you don't have before i don't know what's gonna happen but at this point in time everyone needs to have a plan b truth be told so i think i'm going to bring this video to an end here i just didn't want it to be a very long video i just wanted to keep you guys updated please keep your eyes open and be sure to be safe wherever you are and do know that i love you now and always thanks for all the love and yeah i might be going live on sunday so sunday is my birthday but i have no plans because i mean no mood to celebrate right but i was thinking rather than just be all by myself on sunday maybe i might just go live with you guys so let me know if you would be able to come on live because i don't want to go on live and nobody is there so what's the point that will even make me depressed so let me know if you come live if you come on the live session it should be around 5 p.m nigerian time or 4 p.m nigerian time so let me know what time is convenient for you guys if you haven't subscribed at this point do also subscribe also give this video a like and be sure to leave a comment for me i love reading your comments and it helps me get by through the day so i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video